I'm Moa Shayla and I have something a little bit different for you today. So um, I was recently on Facebook and someone had put a post up asking people, do you blow out light bulbs when you go to turn them on? Do you break down laptops or do electronics blow out when you enter the room? And um, do watches not keep time for you? And all of these types of things. And there were so many people that were like, yes, that happens to me. Yes, that happens to me. And I happen to be one of those people too that has this problem with electronics. I actually think it's a, it's a common thing for star seeds that come in with a lot of energy. I'm not saying it's better than or less than or anything like that. I'm just saying there are certain types of people that have a certain type of energy that causes electrical things to malfunction, blow out for light bulbs to pop when you turn them, turn them on or turn the switch or flip the switch and so I have some techniques. I learned this, I've had this problem for as long as I can remember and fortunately when I was in my early 20s um, I learned a grounding technique that helped me solve a lot of these problems. So there are lots of ways to ground your energy and I have some specific techniques. I also have a product, I don't sell it, I'm not trying to sell you anything here. <laughs> this is um, a product, it's Volcanic Ash it was actually given to me by um, a practitioner, an alternative practitioner, um, Maxine, thank you Maxine, a couple years back when um, I would walk in to her practice, where she was practicing, and a couple times it happened that the electronics went down when I walked in the door. Might have just been coincidence, but she insisted after that that I put volcanic ash in this jar on my head every time I came in before I entered so that the electronics wouldn't malfunction. And, um, and also, you know, if you don't have the volcanic ash, but this is nice, you know, to have around just as a little added extra um, protection. But something that you can do, this is what I learned years ago, um, it's, it's a technique for grounding your energy. So the idea is that we have um, maybe some chaotic energy, maybe a little excess energy, and that can actually have an effect on electronics and electricity. And so here's what we can do. First of all, use your intention before you walk into a place, like this is what I should have done before I walked into Maxine's place of practice, um, is intend that your energy be balanced and you can ground your energy in, and I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see what it looks like. But you wanna imagine at the base of your spine, um, this is your first chakra, you're gonna kinda ground that in. So stand in a squat, I don't know if you can see me, but your knees are bent, and you're as if you're gonna do a squat at the gym. So you kinda wanna be squatting, and you imagine that energy shooting down to the center of the earth. So I'll turn back around now. So I'm in the squat position, um, shooting that energy down to the center of the earth and then breathing aligned energy back up in a balanced way from the center of the earth. So if you want to practice it, I'd love for you to do this with me right now and I'll just demonstrate how simple and easy it is. So just get stand up and get in that like knee slightly bent squatting position. And then it's really nice to have your hands at prayer position. Now, if you're going into the doctor's office or something and people are gonna look at you weird and you don't wanna do this, you don't have to do this. You don't even have to squat. It's just kind of aligning your intention. If you can do this at home before you go out or at home before you touch your electronics, it's going to help you just practice and try it. So you wanna put your hands together and do the squat position, put them over your heart and then take a deep breath into the base of your spine. And now send that energy down to the center of the earth. Just imagine it going from the base of your spine and connecting in to the center of the earth. Take a breath there. And then imagine that energy coming back up through the layers of the earth cleansed, purified, balanced, and back into the base of your spine, bringing it all the way up each energy center of your body, all the way to the top of your head, and then feel that alignment and that balance of energy. 
and then do it again, breathing deeply and sending the energy from the base of your spine into the center of the earth. Cleansed and balanced, letting all chaotic energy go and drain away. And then breathing that back up into the base of the spine to the top of the head, just allowing your energy to balance with the earth energy. If you can do this outside in the grass with bare feet, even better. And one more time, take a deep breath in and send that energy at the base of the spine into the center of the earth. And then breathe it back up, cleansed, balanced by the earth. And just, if you have any excess energy or any energy, maybe you had too much caffeine this morning at coffee, um, send that energy into the earth. The earth is not harmed by this energy. The earth is naturally a transmuter of energy. She can take your energy. She can use your energy. She can transform your energy. She can balance your energy. So finish by just kind of placing your hands on your thighs, tuning your heart into the earth and sending gratitude to the earth, thanking the earth, for her balancing energy, thanking her for support or supporting you and nurturing you on your path. And then just feeling very centered and very balanced and very grounded. Gently come back up to normal standing position and just feel if your energy has shifted. Just notice has your energy balanced out, I feel more balanced, I feel more aligned. If you don't feel more balanced, then maybe you need to go outside and do this next to a tree or touching a tree or with your back to a tree or with your bare feet on the ground, that's really helpful too. But do this practice and it's really about mindfulness. So the more you do it, the more mindful you become and it can be done, you know, in the beginning you wanna give it a minute or so of practicing before you touch the electronics or before you enter into a place where you've been known to wreak havoc on the electric system. So you want to really balance your energy intentionally in the beginning and then as you go on make it part of your mindfulness routine. Before you go to flick on a light switch, balance your energy just very quickly. Allow yourself to align with the earth. Remember to just quickly tune in and ground any extra energy that you have so that that unbalanced energy is being aligned and transmuted and you're, you're approaching then all of the electronics, all of the light switches with mindfulness and intention that you have grounded energy and you will not overwhelm them with your energy. And you know, this is something you can carry into your life and just use it daily. Um, every time you approach a light switch, every time you use your cell phone, every time you use your laptop or any electronics, you can do this technique and it will help you over time. You will just be the energy of groundedness. You will just hold this energy of, I'm always grounded when I approach technology. I'm always grounded when I turn on, you know, light bulb, when I turn on a switch. I'm always grounded. And to help you out in the beginning, if you want to get some of that volcanic ash, there are also a number of um, places, that, or a number of stones that are helpful. Shungite is one, um, hematite can be very grounding. So sometimes carrying those stones with you is enough. Sometimes it's not enough. Sometimes you need to do the grounding and carry a stone and um, just play with it. I would love to hear how this works for you. Um, I hope that it helps you balance out your energy. I hope that it helps you stop um, having a, an ill effect on electricity and electronics, and I hope it extends the life of all of your electronics. So I'd love to hear more, like hear your stories and hear how that works for you. And that's it for today. Have a beautiful day wherever you are and namaste. Thank you.